Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. Glory above Father. You know, this message is very strong. It's very strong. Because when the dream of somebody is killed, it means that anyone that killed the dream of someone has killed the life of that person. Yeah. So this person that they killed your dream, their aim was to kill your life. You ask yourself, where are my dreams? The beautiful dreams I had. When I was growing up, where are the dreams? When I was going to school, where are the dreams? You ask yourself and you look around, it seems as if the dream is nowhere to be found. And at the end, you find yourself in the midst of warfare fighting to even be alive this is the person the lord had me to talk to they did not just take the dream but they you find yourself in the midst of strong warfare not just fighting to be alive fighting to be alive this is not how it was supposed to be it was not supposed to be like that the reason why they keep this person in the midst of warfare it is for you not to forget about the dream and just fight to be alive alone. Now you ask yourself, why? sometimes you ask yourself, why am I even fighting to be alive? Why? Because the dream is there. This is the manipulation of darkness. So you will no longer ask for you not to be able to see value in life anymore. This is the manipulation of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But child of God, hear me. The message says, even the dry bone will rise again. Hallelujah. The dry bone shall rise again. The dry bone shall rise again. Hallelujah. The dry bone shall rise again. Hallelujah. The dry bone shall rise again right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, by his mercy, is bringing you out from the midst of that warfare. And that God is reviving the dream. Hallelujah. And for everyone or any power that was responsible for your case, child of God, they will pay. They will pay. They will pay. Yes, I repeat, they will pay. There is something called wrath of God. There is something called the judgment of the Lord. There is something called repercussion. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Because you can't kill somebody's dream. Put that person in the midst of a, 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 a very serious warfare. Now you find yourself even fighting to just be alive. Oh God, let me just see today. I have seen today, oh thank God. Before you know what is going on, it's 12 p.m. 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Oh, the day have dark again. Oh, thank God, God, I want to sleep. Wash over me, you see sleep. Oh, you see the next day, oh God, thank you. Oh, I see this day. Oh, thank God, I was able to see this day. You are just like the person is just like struggling. Struggling. This message is very painful. I open my heart the way I'm feeling it because sometimes when I give messages like this, it's hard for me to just remove my heart. This is hard. This has not been easy for this person at all. It has not been easy. You are that kind of person that have great dreams. Great dreams. Great dreams. And you work on your dreams. Suddenly the dream... Just vanished. Dry bone shall rise again. Dry bone shall rise again. The God that helped David to pursue, recover all the enemies stole. That God is helping you to recover all that you have lost. They try to kill you by taking the dream. But no, they can't kill you. They can't kill you. The wrath of God 
the wrath of God. It is unleashed upon them that come for your life. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.